I know. I know. I know. It's been a long, 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 long time since I have recorded a video. Actually, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video because I have been recording life stuff, but just have never recorded a video. And I don't know why, because I feel like this process of setting up everything and getting my makeup on and then wanting to clean my apartment and then it doesn't get cleaned. This actually, this is majority of the reason why I don't film that much because, because I want to clean my apartment but then I don't. And then I was like, oh, I can't film because my apartment looks like crap. But today I'm like, I don't even care. Um, it's actually cleaner than usual. Reasons why I guess excuses why I haven't been filming. I just feel like this process of setting up the camera and putting a makeup on and cleaning my apartment is so much that I just don't want to do it. But today I took the time and I'm like, I can do this. I can clean my apartment and put makeup on. I haven't put makeup on in like a month <laughs> and I can put clothes on and uh, talk. <laughs> so I'm here. Remember I had like, oh, ask me your questions. And then I saw the questions and I was like, God, this is so difficult. Never mind. I don't want to answer these questions. My bad. But I'm here to give you another update on my life here in Japan. Yes, I'm still in Japan. And first of all, my parents came to visit me. Uh, my mom and my stepdad, they came to visit me um, in Japan in September, late September. And we, of course, went to Tokyo because that's where they want to go. Tokyo, Tokyo Tower, Tokyo Sky Tree. So I brought them to like the Emperor's Palace. We went to Shin Shinbuya. They had a fun time and we were there for maybe four days. After that, we went to Yokohama, which is close by Tokyo. It's like literally like the next big city over from Tokyo. And we went to the couple noodle museum where you can like make your own noodles, which was crazy and it was cool. And it's actually a museum there, like how noodles are made or where it came from, instant noodles. And then, so after Yokohama, we were only there for one day. After Yokohama, we got on a night bus and drove all the way to Hiroshima, which is like the opposite side of Japan from Tokyo. Not really. Tokyo is mid Japan. Um, Hiroshima is closer to the bottom. So it was, took all night. Like we got on the bus at 10. We got out at Hiroshima station at like 9 p.m. Um, so almost 12 hours. We wanted, we couldn't like get into our hotel right away. <sighs> that was terrible. <laughs> all the things that you could see there, like the um, atomic bomb dome and um, Hiroshima castle and beautiful nature and stuff like that. We were there for two or three days and then we got back on the night bus and came back to actually Gunma where I live. I live in Gunma, the prefecture Gunma. And we were here for maybe two or three days and I showed them my schools and they actually met some of my students and they like burst into one of my classes and it was like they had like a Q&A interview thing with the students and it was awesome. So it was just funny like what my students asked. These students were my second grader high school students which are juniors in high school. Um, and then sadly my mom couldn't stay for my birthday because my birthday is October the 2nd and she had to leave October the 1st I think early in the morning. So sadly they couldn't stay for my birthday but we celebrate my birthday the couple days before. We had a cake. A couple weeks after my parents left, I went to Korea. Yes, yeah, so I was so excited. I went to South Korea. There was a holiday in the second week of October in Japan, so I didn't have school. So for three days, me and two of my friends, we went to Korea. And uh, we just hopped on a plane. It's literally like three hours away from Tokyo to get to Seoul. And we had an amazing time. We, like, I was the one that knew the most Korean and that was literally like Anyaseo. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Anyaseo, Kamsanida. And then I know like inter like two inappropriate phrases, which I'm not gonna say. But we were in Seoul and people spoke English and we could figure our way around. We went to some palace, we went to a lot of cafes, um, went to a poop cafe. We went to You Are Here Cafe, which is uh, by the YouTube channel um, Eat Your Kimchi. That was really awesome. We just walked around, we kind of went shopping, we got makeup, you know, so that was really interesting. And that was actually on my um, bucket list. Like I really wanted to go to Korea 
So that was really, really nice. I know some other questions that a lot of people have other than just like, what have I been up to? Probably what most people care about or, you know, the question that most people have asked me was about me and John and if we're still together and stuff like that. And um, unfortunately, we broke up. We broke up in the beginning of the year. Like, we broke up a long time ago, like almost 12, 12 months ago. I haven't been like avoiding that question or anything like that. It's just, I think I had in mind that I wanted to do something like together or something like that. I don't know, but then I stopped filming. So, yeah. So I know a lot of people are gonna ask. And um, it was kind of like mutual because I started having feelings for someone else. Here in Japan it didn't seem like our lives were going in the same direction because um, I wanted to stay in Japan for another year and he's he wanted to like do military stuff and it just seems like we were just literally moving away from each other we broke up I was still sad about it that even though it was you're we both like on the same page but I am now in a relationship with someone else um, his name is Raj and he is from Nepal and he also lives in Japan. We met through like a friend. And if you're a friend of mine on Facebook, you might have already seen that even though it kind of sounds crazy, and I know this is like a lot of news that I'm telling everyone right now, even though Raj and I have only been dating for like less than a year, we are actually engaged. Yay, I know it sounds crazy. And we got, Raj and I got engaged actually a while ago, but I didn't put it on Facebook until like a week or so ago. I know it kind of sounds crazy, but one thing that uh, made me not feel like I was going crazy and doing something really quickly is that someone else that I know here in Japan also met their other person and they're also engaged so i'm like oh okay like we both kind of got engaged around the same time and have been dating dating for around the same amount of time so i don't feel as crazy like we're in the same or or we're both in the same crazy boat so at least i'm not by myself there's a bee inside my hole oh no I'm alive. It like literally like flew straight out the window and I closed that door. I went to America in June or July, maybe June into July. Going back to America, I miss all the food and I ate everything. <sighs> when I went to America in June, I told all my friends and everyone then that I broke up with John and I'm dating this guy named Raj because I didn't want to do it over Facebook. That's kind of weird. I don't wear the ring because my students would like flip out and we wouldn't be able to have a lesson after that. It's over there in my room. I don't know. I feel like you know when you know. I feel like maybe John and I, we didn't get, we were dating for a while and we didn't get in engaged because like we knew maybe in the back of our heads or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any, I don't have much else to update on right now. I will try to upload more videos just about like daily life and living in Japan and I need to upload a video about teaching in Japan. I know. But I'll try to upload more videos. That's my New Year's resolution, is to upload freaking videos. I saw YouTube Rewind, and of course there's no way that I'll ever get there that big or anything like that, but that just encouraged me to start filming and start editing. That's my kryptonite, editing. I, I, I don't know, I really like the YouTube community, and I'm, I mean, who doesn't? But I, re I really, really like it, and I don't know. It just encouraged me to start filming and getting my life together. That's it. So I'll see you. Bye.